Hey loves and thanks for tuning back into Shana Expo Wex and in this video I'm basically gonna come back at you guys with the movie review. And what movie do you say? You know a movie. Uh-huh. Cause I got the juice tea and the squeeze on Bird Box. Yes, I do. I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion, how I feel about the movie, certain events that occurred in the movie, what I liked, what I didn't like, all that juicy and squeeze. Okay. Big story on me personally. Um, if you know me, and even if you don't, I haven't been on YouTube that long for you to know me. But I don't like scary things. I don't like to be scared. I don't like to be frightened. I don't like the element of surprise. I like to know what's gonna happen, okay? And that's why movies like this take me aback because I cannot predict movies for nothing. Like, my mom, she can sit there and predict a movie. Like, this is going to happen. I'm just like, why you got to ruin the moment, sis? Mm, mm. But anyways, um, everybody I spoke to basically gave this movie high praises. And um, so I decided to give it a try out myself. Being the fact that I am scary and all of these things, I decided to watch the movie at what time of night, like 9, 10 o'clock when it's pitch black outside. I personally live in the basement, so it is completely dark. Um, and if you did not watch my basement um, video, you definitely need to watch that. But anyways, yeah, so I'm laying in bed and I decided to watch the movie. Now, mind you, I don't know what the movie is about. So, um... Yeah, I had a surprise on my hand because I was scared as hell, okay? Because, like, I don't like when people are possessed and stuff like that. Like, it kind of reminds me of zombies, but in the opposite kind of way. So, I'm watching it and I'm like, what the? Because it seemed like a normal movie in the beginning. Like, Mallory's just painting a picture you know, she's talking to her sister, she's pregnant, but then if you pay attention to the movie, you pay attention to the news, you'll kind of see there was an outbreak, like, and it was like, dang it, un in like, oh, uh, what? Uncontrollable. <laughs> it was like uncontrollable, and it was spreading around the world, so I guess they weren't prepared, they were not prepared for what was going to happen, like, no one was prepared. No one had anything ready, no food, no clothes, no nothing ready. So when it happened, it was just like chaos, like complete and utter chaos. Um, I'm going to go into the part of the movie, like when the first murder that I, the first suicide, I'm sorry, that I noticed was basically the lady that was on her phone, like when Mallory first got into the hospital going to get her ultrasound and the lady that was on her phone seemed like she was happy about life and everything. When they came out, she was literally banging her head against the glass window. And literally, I think she fell out of it or whatever the case may be. And she just looked like a complete zombie. <laughs> like, it did not like it did not hurt them whatsoever. That's just what they wanted to do. So, it, it just got to a point in the movie where I'm just like, I'm interested, but I'm scared as hell, y'all. Like, I'm like... <laughs> wow the thought of something like i always think like what if this happened for real for real like what would i do and it's just like it's just like preparation that's legit i would get my house bolted up to the ceilings you can't see outside the house is pitch black backup generators everything everything good boy i'm like i'm not going i'm gonna go learn how to shoot shotguns everything boy I was, ooh. So when they finally got into the house, I was like, okay, um, all right. So it's a group of them. So I'm like, okay, at least, you know, it's like a group of them. Um, and you know, if, if it's like men in there, so they, you know, the ladies are good. Boy, they went and let Gary in. Why they go do that? Why they go do that? You know, and some tell me, like, it was all Olympia fault. Like, why she had to go? Like, I remember when it was me. Baby, you have a child to worry about. You can't worry about who's out there. Like, I get it. You want to help. But the only way you, you become successful is when you can help yourself, when you can think about yourself. And see, because of that event, it led to a lot. Like, the whole house was basically dead. 
and it was just like you couldn't even watch these creatures on a video like it still would get you so you couldn't look at it period like at all so basically Gary was basically one of the ones who could see the creatures and wanted everybody else to see the creatures, okay? So it was like, wow, that was really a good plot twist because I wasn't expecting that. I'm thinking basically everybody is um is dead. Um Oh, I'm sorry guys. I know y'all gonna hate me. But the way Olympia died, like, bruh, that was funny. I don't care how nobody feel, like that was funny. I mean, I was almost scared for the baby because she just seemed like she was going to do it with the child. But, boy. And, but the way, but the, but the way, like, my, the way my mind was thinking, I was like, how is Mallory about to do this? Like, how is she about to get away from Gary with two crying infants? Like, how is she going to do it? How is she still alive? And then it all made sense. That is a spoiler, and I won't spoil it for you if you did watch it. But if you if you um if you didn't watch it, but if you did watch it, yeah, that was some real stuff. Like applause to that because um I didn't think it was gonna happen. <laughs> so I mean the movie all together, it was just like basically the movie was like the two hours was basically based on two days, a two day event. She was trying to get to this um this um this place that might have been safe so they were basically risking it and um yeah it was just suspenseful like boy and girl oh my god they're so precious and it's like i'm glad mallory was so hard on them because if they didn't they would have been dead like honestly like they would have been a no-show because if mallory didn't do what she had to do like, they would have given in to the entities, and they would have killed themselves. So, anyways, guys, I don't want to make the video too long, but those were, like, my key things that um you should pay attention to if you decide to rewatch it or whatever the case may be. And I took a lot from this movie. It was very interesting. It was a different approach. Out of a 10 star, I give this movie a 7.5. And I'm sorry. I'm just a romance girl. I love romances and da 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 So um, hit me up with a good romance movie in the um, description below. And I will definitely do a review for you guys. And if you enjoyed this review, give me a thumbs up. Remember that I'm trying to hit 200 subscribers. So share this with your auntie, your cousin, your everybody, sis. And then you could be entered into my giveaway. All right. Thank you guys so much. Welcome back for the, come back for the juice, the tea, and the squeeze. And I'll see you in the next video.